Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Red Velvet Beauty. I'm Angie and today I wanted to show you the makeup look I did for my cousin's bachelorette party. It is a quite simple makeup look uh, with a bit of glam and it's something that you can do whenever you want to have fun with makeup or on a girl's night out or you know whenever you see fit. I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. So I'm going to start with a bit of lip balm. This is the lip balm by La Mer and it's my absolute favorite and since my lips are quite dry I need to start with this and then we're gonna move on to foundation which is this one by Charlotte Tilbury it's called the magic foundation I'm gonna add a bit on my hand and I'm gonna use Tom Ford's um, foundation brush to use a bit I don't tend to use a lot of foundation on a daily basis or whenever I used to go, whenever I go out. I like my skin to be quite natural. And so I use very little. The goal here is to try and cover up any blemishes that you might have. Um, and just basically even out your skin tone. The blemishes actually you can also cover with a bit of face concealer which we're gonna use in a bit. So my base is done and I'm gonna move forward with a bit of uh, concealer. This is NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm sure you have heard of this before, it's quite popular. So this is it, and I'm gonna... This is in shade Vanilla, so just so you have an idea of what kind of shades I'm using. I'm gonna use the Tom Ford brush again. don't usually go for an, an extreme under eye highlight so or concealing so you you're not going to see much of a difference bit on the top of my nose and in my fingers to blend And that's it for concealer. I'm gonna use my powder now, and this is um, Airbrush Flawless Finish by Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm gonna use it with her powder and sculpt brush, which is this one right here. I'm gonna take this and just powder down the center of my face. This is actually my favorite powder because you can't really see it on the skin. It's quite natural and quite flawless to be honest. Then I'm going to use a bit of uh, sculpting powder. This is a sculpting kit call called uh, Couture uh, Contouring and it's by Yves Saint Laurent. I'm going to use the sculpting powder to sculpt a little under my cheekbones. A bit there, a bit my jawline, that's it. And then I'm going to use a bit of the highlighter, which is very natural, but still. And because it is so natural, I also like to use it under my eyes. A bit here, a bit there. <coughs> and then for blush, I'm going to use this Tom Ford blush called Frantic Pink with my Suku blush brush. I'm going to take this and smile and apply it 
on the apples of my cheeks. Great, now moving forward to brows. The um, pencil I'm using is by Benefit called Precisely My Brow Pencil. It has a pencil from one hand, from one side and a brush on the other. So it's really two in one. And I'm not going for, for any specific shape here, just filling them in a bit. So that's that. And then I'm gonna move on to the eyes and I'm gonna start by curling the eyelashes. This is a Shoemura uh, eyelash curler. Gonna hold it there for a few seconds. Then move on to the next one. Great. Now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna use a bit of eyeshadow. This is uh, Dior Show Mono by Dior and it's number 658 Cosmopolit and I'm gonna use a Tom Ford eyeshadow brush I've used it with this eyeshadow before it's quite good and And I'm going to basically tap it on my eyelid. As you can see, it's a very, very glittery eyeshadow. So you don't really need much else with this. And I'm also going to apply a bit under my eyes using, again, Tom Ford brush. This is quite a for under eyes. So you can do a kind of a glittery smoky eye. And then a bit of a blending brush just to blend the edge the edges so you don't have any harsh lines. Next is mascara and for my new favorite mascara is this one, it's called the Shock by YSL and it's this, this one right here, this brush here and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna focus on the roots of my lashes and then with a zigzag motion and then move out. And on my bottom lashes. And of course I had to destroy it with this mark. It was it was going too perfect for it to not get ruined. Anyway, I'll let this one dry and then I'll show you how you can fix this. I'll move on with the lips. I'm gonna use this um, matte lipstick by Dior. It's number 999, it's a classic of theirs. It's this one right here. And I'm going to apply it with the Dolce & Gabbana lip brush 
which is this one. I'm going to apply a bit on the brush and worry basically about my lip shape as a start and then I'm gonna move into fixing it. So what you're doing here is you're trying to get this as much uh, into the lips as possible so that it stays all night long. Then taking a bit more. And now you can also take a bit with your finger and just tuck it on. So now in order to fix this that was created by the mascara, we're gonna take a bit of eye cream. I'm using this one by um, Charlotte, Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Magic Eye Rescue. And I'm also gonna use a Q-tip. I'm gonna take very little on there. Just this and rub it between my fingers and then I'm just So this is the final look everyone, thank you very much for watching and I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel and until next time, I hope you have a great time. See you in the next one, bye!